system like this. Danger, get back. If only there had been a system like this. Danger, get back. On a school bus in Rochester last year when a young driver allegedly blew through the vehicle's traditional stop sign and killed three children and injured another. I do a lot of housing additions, so sometimes there is a lot of cars that will pass by and run my stop arm. It's estimated nationwide last year, school buses loading and offloading kids were illegally passed 84,000 times, putting the lives of those children in danger. In Clark Pleasant schools, where Robin Hall drives, it happens to her at least once a week. It is very common for the high schoolers not even to be looking at me. They're just looking at their phone and carrying it and even texting while they're getting onto the bus. Clark Pleasant is one of five school districts across the country testing the predictive stop arm system. We're utilizing radar technology and predictive algorithms to monitor the speed and distance of an oncoming vehicle and determine a level of threat to report to the student and driver to step back from the street. Danger! Get back! Uh, it'll look out uh, up to 300 yards and detect an oncoming vehicle. It'll then calculate its speed and distance and be able to report to the driver or student when that vehicle is not going to stop. The system also looks out for kids when the bus is sitting still in a parking lot. There's a danger zone on the bus, which is when you walk out the bus in that area beside the bus. It also will tell us if there's a kid standing in that danger zone before we move on. Clark Pleasant schools are ready to outfit seven new buses with the predictive stop arm system this fall. Russ McQuaid, CBS4 News.